Beauty Junkie. Welcome to my channel. Today I am trying all new Chanel makeup. I have two products from the Rev de Chanel collection. I have this very beautiful limited edition Rev de Camellia highlighter. This is so pretty in person and we're going to try this out on my face. I also have another highlighting product. This is a multi-use highlighting wand. This is the Stylo Lumiere Regard. I have the shade Eclat. It's a multi-use top coat. We're going to try that. I also picked up an eyeshadow palette from Chanel's regular signature collection. This is the Tisse Rivoli. This is a cool toned little quad here and it looks absolutely gorgeous and I will be using as much Chanel today as possible on my face. So let's get into it. First of all, I'm going to be showing you the packaging as I unbox. I did a, a little bit of filming and photo taking, so I'll go ahead and show that now. did some swatches of all the new products I picked up and I'll go ahead and show those now. I will say these swatches I tried my best to really highlight them as best as possible but both of the highlighters are not super showy they do not they're not high impact highly pigmented they're actually fairly sheer in my opinion the powder highlighter has a little bit more oomph and you can layer it of course but as a swatch the pen was really hard to pick up um, but I think it will be really pretty on the eyes and the tops of the cheeks. Just so you guys know details of this Rev de Chanel collection. I think the star product everybody wants to get is this highlighter. It's so pretty. I've never had a powder highlighter from Chanel before. And it's $80. Very expensive. I hesitated picking this up. It comes with a little kabuki brush that's super soft. I don't know that I'll be using this to apply my powder today. I'm maybe a one cheek. I'll experiment. Um, but this is a very pink highlighter. It's a little bit frosty. Um, so we're going to see what that looks like on my face. And then the wand, as I said, again, very sheer. It looks like this. It's a regular click pen. Um, I'm excited. You can use it in multiple areas. And then this eyeshadow quad, of course, comes with the sponge tip applicators, two of them, which is kind of nice. Beautiful mirror. Both the palettes come in with, of course, the standard sleeves to protect them. The samples that I plan to use one of them today, I got the Volume, Le Volume de Chanel Mascara. I've never tried any Chanel mascaras before, so this will be cool to try. I also got a skincare cream, the Le Lift Cream de Nuit, which is the smoothing and firming night cream. I won't be using that right now. Let's get into application. What I have on my face already, I have the number one de Chanel Camellia Revitalizing Foundation. I have the shade BR12. I also mixed in, just for fun, just to try it out, the LaBeige's Water Fresh Tint in Light. So I mix these together. I think it's nice and pretty, a little bit glowy. And then for blush, I use the Chanel Joy Contrast in Rose Bronze. I believe this is the old 
formula. So that is what's on my face. Setting powder, I use a different brand. Eyebrows, I use a different brand. And that's it. I was considering, and I may still do this, picking up some nail polishes from this collection. I really like the light peach shade. Um, there are some lipstick products. Uh, there also is a peach eyeshadow palette that you may be wondering why I didn't pick it up. And peach is not like my favorite color on the eyes. I do have, I feel like enough peach in my collection. And the quad look like just several different shades of peach. Some of those shades look very similar that I just wasn't really attracted to it. So that's why I got the kind of standard, one of the standard Chanel quads instead. Cause I wanted to try more eyeshadows and I don't really like peach all too much. So I strayed away from the Revde Chanel collection with the eyeshadow. Anyways, getting into this highlighter, I'm gonna use a little brush and the little embossing on here. I would say the first thing that starts to go is like the quilted part. You can see it starts to smooth out. Um, I'm gonna use this, but I may use my regular high shadow brush on the other side. But I'm gonna try this didn't swatch very well. It, it swatched like, oh, this is going to be a very natural looking highlighter, not a highlighter you're going to see from the moon. So I'm going to put on a little bit more. And then that's a very sheer wash. I'm going to use my Refer number 20 highlighting fan brush and use that instead okay here we go now we're looking a little bit brighter that's the level of shine i'm used to if you guys can see that i think this is a really pretty highlighter i like that it's a little bit pink toned but, but it's almost like a champagne-y pink it's not like too too pink that is really pretty even though it didn't swatch well I like this highlighter a lot. Super nice. I just want to put it everywhere. That's really, really pretty. I think a lot of people are going to get along with this one because it's buildable. Like you can take it there and get it a bit brighter. The embossing on here is even better in person, you guys, and it looks pretty on the face. So that's always a plus. I wouldn't use this kind of a brush with highlights but um, it might be useful for other applications. So it, I like that it came with a brush. I think it makes the $80 a little bit more worth it, but that's the thing I normally use to apply like a highlighter. So the Stylo Lumiere Regard in the shade Eclat. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more out for you to see if you guys can see this better kind of on camera. This is how it comes out, by the way. It's very liquidy. I would call this like a a liquid really lightweight highlighter it's fairly barely there like it's very sheer I think you guys can see that probably a little bit better this shade is more on the pink side and I have a feeling I'll be putting this like on the inner corner maybe on the brow bone and probably on top of the cheeks if I didn't have another highlight if I didn't want to use powder but this is really pretty lightweight, um, but I have a feeling some people may be disappointed by this, something like this if they're thinking it's going to be a lot more flashy because it's very subtle. Interesting. It dries down fairly quick. A lot of gorgeous cool tones. When I was swatching this, this reminded me of a Tom Ford kind of color range. It's not quite nude dip, but it reminds me of a, a, a quad that Tom Ford may have come out with. These are, I feel like, baked formulas because they're, when you touch them, like, what comes off your, what comes off is, like, very light. Like, they feel very lightweight. Um, so let's get into some application. All right, getting into this Rivoli quad. I just wanted to quickly mention packaging uh, for these two palettes. This highlighter palette. When I opened it up the first time, I was very confused. I'm like, wait, did 
Did the product fall out? Because this is what comes on top. It's a little plastic protective piece. And I was like, wait, how do I take this off? Is this permanent? Um, I, I don't think it's permanent, but it's probably good to keep on there for travel in case something does happen. That's very nifty. I do not see this with other companies, even luxury, other luxury companies like having that little piece there. Super smart. And then this little guy came like this. I mean, maybe just to protect that powder doesn't go everywhere, you know, keep it clean. Pretty cool. It's got little bubbles. All right. Anyway, uh, moving on to application. I'm really excited to dig into this palette. This is right up my color story alley. It's not too dark, but it's cool on the cooler side. Ooh, this is pigmented. Okay. I think I might have put a little bit too much there. So I'm taking the shade Ombre. The Ombre shade. I guess there's not a name for it. Uh, it's kind of a grayish, taupey tone. I actually really like this. So this could be a very much a cool toned smoky palette for those of you that prefer those kinds of eyeshadow look. So taking this other ombre shade, I'm not really sure the, the significance why it's called ombre, uh, but it's definitely lighter in tone. So this kind of looks slightly pink, but it's actually more of a warm brown shimmery shade. Much more to the neutral warm side than that gray tone color. This looks like an absolute mess right now. I'm gonna blend that out. Really pretty tones. I mean you could wear this any day of the week. All right I'm gonna take a little bit of this really dark shade. This is the Intensify shade and kind of use it as a smudgy liner. So the reason I picked up this palette and not the newest one, for one, I like the shades better. Many shades of peach, that's just not exciting to me. Um, I picked this one up because I watched a video of a YouTuber that used to work at Chanel. There's many YouTubers that have but um, she said when she worked there, they used to have like an as Chanel Essentials or top Chanel products that they would sell or would re recommend to customers. And this palette was on that list, plus a couple of their luminous si singles um, that are the ones that she mentioned, I believe were New Moon was one of them, which are currently on back order. Otherwise I probably would have picked them up along with this haul and included them with that high look but um this is one of the palettes that she would recommend to people and I can totally see why and then she as I said recommends some of the the single luminous eyeshadows as well oh my gosh this is really really nice okay moving on to the lightest white shade in the palette inner corner of course my favorite spot so this isn't like a super bright highlighty shade uh, it's more of like a subtle reflection not like tons of color behind it okay so I used the palette now let's get into this wand stylo lumiere I keep wanting to push but it's it's a turn <laughs> turning mechanism. So I'm going to go directly on the eye with this as an experiment. This is a very wet product though. And it might remove some of that shadow there. A little bit on the brow bone, inner corner on the other eye. This kind of feels a little bit funny because it's so liquidy. It just has like the slightest pink highlight. I'm going to do a little bit up over the top of this, especially over the top of powder. It really stands out. 
then if you put it over just your wet foundation. That's really nice. So I knew this was going to be settled just looking at the swatch online, this wand. And I think it it's pretty much what I expected to be. Maybe I was wishing for maybe a little bit more of a bold shine to it and maybe more of a sparkle. This is going to be a very for your very subtle makeup wears that just want like direct liquid highlight to certain areas. Maybe you want it down the bridge of the nose, something like that. Maybe you want it right above the lip, like very strategic areas. Um, I think most, well, I shouldn't say most, people that really want like more of a strong look, like bolder highlight, you're not so much into subtlety. I wouldn't, I don't think you're really going to make much use of this um, because for one, you probably have a, a liquid highlight product that is even more impactful already. This is one of those subtle liquid highlights. I like the delivery. I think it works especially on bigger areas of the face, but right in the inner corner with this liquid, liquid product, it's a little bit hard to control and blend with just the one. You might need a brush or a finger to kind of blend it out. Also, because it's so liquidy, it might disturb some of the eyeshadow that you already have on your eye if you're kind of doing some layers. It didn't seem to bother me too much, although I feel like that white eyeshadow I put in the inner corner, this pretty much covered it up, so you wouldn't need both. On the brow bone, I think it looks pretty. On the cheek, it looks pretty. Like where it's really gonna obviously catch light is where this product is gonna shine, but kind of if you're not looking at it in the light, you probably will barely see it. Um, so it's one of those shaky products. This reminds me the color of the Benefit, I think it's High Beam, but the pink version, that like liquid classic highlighter, it reminds me of a lot of that, except it's more subtle, more pink subtlety. That one had like more white silvery shimmer specks in it. This is a lot more like ethereal barely there you can only see it in certain shifts of light so let's see what this looks like on my lips and I have foundation on my lip I don't know that we can uh, are really supposed to use it on the lips you guys can see a little bit of a pink shine there Maybe something you want to put over a matte lipstick. I could see that little pink shine. All right, I am blabbing way too much. Uh, so I, I tried basically all the new products that I really, that I picked up, but I'm going to continue this makeup look and complete it for you. So I have the Chanel Waterproof Eyeliner in Brun Agape. I'm gonna use that on the top lash line. This is a, I think this is considered like a gel. This is a long lasting eyeliner. It's actually one of my favorite eyeliners to apply and I really love the shade. Such a pretty eyeliner. Okay, so I have the, the mascara to try with you. I'm so glad I got to try this because I don't think I've ever tried a Chanel mascara. This is a little mini of the Volume Mascara in black. See how this one looks and there's a lot of product on there. Interesting. This is about volume, right? You guys can see that bristles close up. Um, yeah, I can tell I'm not going to get a lot of length because the bristles are pretty short, but they're kind of textured. So as you rub back and forth, I'm just going to get more product on the base of the lash. I feel like all of these bristles are like fully plastic, so it's not like as wispy of a lash. I don't know, is this the most popular Chanel mascara? You guys will have to let me know. I feel like it is. I have to be honest, it's a little hard for me to apply mascara when it's like a mini size because 
it's hard to apply with this little wand, but I mean, I'm getting the volume. For luxury mascara, not so bad. Well, I have to say I'm fairly impressed with this mascara. I like the way it looks, it makes my lashes look. Okay, all right, Chanel, this haul has been pretty successful. Um, that always makes me happy. So we're gonna go with Timeless Beige. I don't have a Chanel lip liner yet. I'm still very slowly building my collection. Okay, this is very brown. I have to be honest, I don't wear this, I haven't worn this color much at all. I think because it's such a brown nude, which is not a color I normally rock. But I think it's a nice contrast, contrast to the eyes. It kind of matches, kind of doesn't. And this is gonna dry up really quick. And I wanna do a little experiment, again, putting that wand somewhere on my lips with this pink highlight. This is probably not what you're supposed to do. I'm just gonna click a little bit more out. Ooh. That's pretty on the lips. I know this won't be for everyone. So same kind of issue on the lips as it with like on the eye area, like a lot comes out. So you want to use a finger to kind of blend it rather than trying to use this as a applicator and blender. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. A little bit of a frosty moment there, but that definitely changed uh, the lip color for sure. That's kind of fun. I don't know that people imagined. I didn't really think about using that highlighter on lips, but that's kind of a fun idea. All right, so I'm going to use the gloss, the clear gloss that comes with the Ultra Tenue. And watch this color come alive. Wow. Well, I think I created a nice lip look that I didn't really expect to do. I know this isn't like my normal lip look, but I'm loving this look. Oh my goodness. What do you guys think? These are really great products in the new Reeve de Chanel collection. Definitely recommend. I will say my experience with Chanel so far, everything, especially when it comes to like shiny products and like highlighting products and things that are really supposed to kind of catch the light. When you compare them to other brands, Chanel is more on the classy, subtle highlight side. They're not like that beaming from space highlight. They're not that overly pigmented, super shiny look. They're more on the sophisticated side. And I think, you know, the clientele, in my opinion, for Chanel is not for young people under, <laughs> not for the teens and 20 year olds. I don't know how many teens and 20 year olds wear Chanel makeup. I know, of course, some of you guys do, but I feel like Chanel is more, you think of that like sophisticated 30s, 40s, 50s, woman and um so it, it makes sense to me that our highlights are more like really wearable buildable just really pretty nothing too over the top but if you're thinking in terms of like comparing the other brands they're not probably going to overwhelm you they're just going to be really pretty if that makes sense um this highlighter is <laughs> it's good i wish it was slightly more blinding but it's nice really nice shade really well done it's not too pink. It's got a lot of like champagne-y light silver notes. This wand is fun. I think I love the multi-purpose aspect of it that I can just throw it on and just kind of amp up my look in kind of a subtle, fun way. I think my this is like an amazing eyeshadow quad from Chanel. If you're new to Chanel like me and you want to pick up a quad and you like cool tones, this is a no-brainer. Look at this look. You can wear this to work, you can wear it 
going out for dinner, drinks, date night, happy hour. I mean, it could work anytime. You can make it a little less dark, a little less smoky, you know, kind of skip these shades, just work with these two, or you can just use the dark shades. I think that's an excellent palette. And I'm glad I got to try this mascara. I actually think it's just first impressions, like very good for a volumizing mascara, even though I know there's other mascaras that are less money that will do this, but this is actually got a good amount of volume with it. I feel like if this was in like bright sunlight, you guys could really see the pretty pink sheen of these highlights. And that's what I was struggling trying to show. Um, but overall, I really love this makeup. Now you did an awesome job with these products. Now my recommendations, if you wanna pick something from the Rave de Chanel collection, um, so excluding the eyeshadow quad, which I of course recommend, these shades are stunning, but that's not part of the new collection. Um, if I had to choose one or the other, like the Illuminating Powder or the Rev, the Stylo Lumia Regard Eclat, I would say most people are going to be happy with the Illuminating Powder because you can literally put this powder on your eyes, on your cheeks, wherever you can mix in with your blush. Um, this liquid illuminating product I also think works a lot of different ways I have it on my lips cheeks eyes you wouldn't necessarily put the powder on your lips you can but this is not very bright or shiny or reflective it's slightly reflective but I feel like it's more bang for your buck more you're gonna be more satisfied with the powder highlighter um, but it is really pretty I I wish the brush was more like a flat fan brush to apply it than something like this, but it works and well enough. I, th I think the, the packaging, the color is really stunning. So out of anything in the collection, I would get the highlighter. Now they have that peach quad. If you guys are really into peach, that might be worth, sp worth picking up. I didn't feel like it was something I was going to like, so I didn't pick it up. Um, I think I might pick up some of the new nail polish shades from this collection, though. I, I didn't pick them up now because it would have made my order a lot slower. It would have to ship ground because it's, uh, I don't know, nail polish is hazardous. Um, but I'm thinking about picking up that light peach shade and the base coat and top coat from Chanel. I have a couple of nail polishes from Chanel that I just really love the quality. I have Vamp in Oregondi, um, and they're really nice. Just really, really high quality, nice polishes, but they're a lot of money per bottle. So I'm like, ooh, should I get them? But that like light peach shade just really speaks to me, even though I don't want it in my makeup, I wouldn't mind it on my nails for the spring, something really light and fun. So that's what I am pondering getting. I love the experience of getting Chanel makeup because the whole experience of ordering online is like unlike any other company. I mean, I got like three things in here. It has this, I didn't even ask for like gift wrap. It like came with all this tissue paper. Each sample came in this really useful Chanel bag that I like use for jewelry when I travel. I mean this stuff is super handy to like just keep anything in. <laughs> and then I got the rest of my order in this beautiful box. I mean even now I think they could have put everything in one box. I don't know what happened. So that's kind of wasteful. But you okay. guys I mean, look at the sticker. The black Chanel CC sticker. I mean, you guys are used to Chanel. You guys are, are used to this type of packaging. It ain't no thing to you. But to me, I, I mean, every time I see it, I'm like, oh, Chanel. You guys make me feel special when I open my packages. It just, it's a, a whole other experience. You feel like you're opening something of quality. Those are my thoughts on the latest Chanel products that I picked up. What are you guys excited for? What do you want me to try? Please comment below. If you like this video, click the thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.